This lesson covers triggering actions based on event logs. So Windows has the event viewer. We can see the various event logs in the system. It also has the task scheduler, which typically we think of as running a task at a certain time on a certain day, maybe repeating once a week. But it also has the capability to trigger tasks based on the generation of event logs. This is actually used by the operating system itself. If I look at the Microsoft library under Windows, one of the most common ones is memory diagnostics. And you can see here there are actually triggers. So if any of these types of event trigger, an 1801, event ID 6, this will actually trigger this action that is defined, which is a custom handler. And you can create these yourself. So I could absolutely just go into the task schedule library and I could say create a basic task. I can give it a name. I could say when a specific event is logged. I can say well, which log. So maybe security. What's the source? So what's actually triggering this? Maybe it's the LSA. And then which event IDs do I care about? I can then start a program, send an email, display a message. But really you want to do the start a program. Notice the email and a message is actually deprecated. And then you finish. But the other way of doing this is actually simpler is I can just look at the event viewer. I could maybe find the event that I care about. These are all logon successes. But maybe I want to trigger when a logon success happens. I can just right click and say attach a task to this event. It's then going to use that same task scheduler wizard, but it's filling it in for us automatically. I can then just select the action I wish to perform. For example, maybe I just launched Notepad. This is obviously not very useful, but it's just an example. And then hit finish. I can say show me the properties once this is actually created, so I can go and tweak this. So I can see here my trigger is based on this event ID, and I could add them. I could add more advanced settings around how long does it have to happen for. And then there's my actions, and I can have multiple actions. And that's it. I've now actually created a task that's going to trigger when that event ID is actually created. So try this. Think about, well, what events do I maybe care about and want to perform actions for? And then very easily, you can go and trigger any kind of action that can be run from a command line. This completes the lesson on triggering actions from event logs.